Hi, this is Geshe Michael Roach, and I just want to let you know about our Mixed Nuts uh, Diamond Cutter Classics Organization. Amazing translation session that's coming up. Uh, let me show you some pictures here. Uh, we're going to be working with people like uh, Master Shen Tsang. You know, he lived about uh, 1,300 years ago, and he really wanted to learn how to translate. And he went to this guy, uh, which is Emperor Taizong of the Tang Dynasty. He was the king, you know, of pretty much the whole world, the Eastern world at that time. And Shen Tsang said, look, I really, really want to learn how to translate. Uh, these great classic books, you know, could I go on a trip, you know, to all these other countries that have the books, many countries, and I will bring back books, and I'll learn how to translate them, and it will help uh, the kingdom, you know, we'll be more successful if we understand, especially emptiness, and how to use emptiness uh, in daily life, even in the government, and he asked uh, Tai Zong, you know, and Tai Zong said, no. And if you go, I will cut your head off. Okay. Now, he was a very stubborn guy. And guess what Shen Tsang did? He went on a 17-year walk. Okay. Here you can see he started in Chang'an, which is modern Xi'an, middle of China. And he walked uh, to the west over this huge desert uh, and then down across uh, what's now Afghanistan, Pakistan. These were great, great kingdoms, uh, very, very big kingdoms and with great universities and great uh, scholars and thousands of books and libraries. And then he walked all the way down to India, all over, and then he came home and, you know, <laughs> Did the emperor cut his head off? Uh, no. The emperor said, wow, great job. You know, you're amazing. And he gave him this building, you know. The emperor gave uh, Shen Tsang this building. And it's called the Wild Goose Pagoda. Uh, nowadays, the city is called Xi'an uh, in the middle of China. It used to be called Chang'an. And it was the end of the Silk Road. And this is where the king lived, the emperor Taizong. And he said, you know what? You take this building, <coughs> excuse me, you take this building and you set up your translators there because uh, Shen Song had brought back like a thousand ancient books, you know, on palm leaf, uh, written on palm leaves. And he said, you guys can sit here and you guys can enjoy and have fun and translate all these great classics, and then we'll use them. And, and Tai Zong was a smart emperor. You know, his empire was the largest in the world at the time and the most successful times in the whole of China up to now. And he said, we'll use the knowledge that you guys translate, and it'll make our country better. It'll make our people more successful. And you guys can stay here in this building, okay? And this is some American guy and his wife uh, who went to the building to see it. Uh, it's still there. And it's amazing to walk through that building and sit in the room uh, where Shen Tsang sat with his thousand books and his great team of translators. And they translated uh, these ideas. And these ideas became part of Chinese culture. And they are, I think they are why uh, China is even successful now, is that still these great ideas are in the Chinese soul, are in the Chinese personality. And because of these translations, because of these great books that came back. Here's another tower. We call it the Red Western Tower. It's, it's very similar to the Wild Goose Pagoda where Shen Song worked. Uh, in this tower, uh, we have a great, <laughs> crazy team of translators. 
in Sedona, Arizona. We like to call it the Western Tower. Uh, and we called the, the one in Xi'an the Eastern Tower. And you can imagine these two towers uh, around the world, okay, on opposite sides of the world. And the same thing is happening in these towers, this great, great uh, books, great ideas are being translated. Here's what it looks like when the team is together. This is what a mixed nuts translation party looks like. And we sit there and we work hard and we learn all of these great ideas. We learn to translate them. We learn to read them and we learn to understand them. And it's not easy. It's difficult and it's, uh, it's, it takes uh, hours of work and each person is working very hard. And let me tell you something, you see, if you already understand something, you know, if you already know something, then you don't learn much when you look at it again, okay? Or when you study it again, when you read a book about something that you already understand, you don't learn much, okay? But these books, and these are the same books as Shen Sun was working on. Here's the, some of these guys. This is the, this is the Master Kumara Jiva, who was also a great translator in China, uh, actually in Xi'an uh, also. And then here's Vasubandhu uh, from ancient India from about 1,700 years ago. And when you open your mind to the ideas of these great, great guys, when you sit with them uh, for a few hours, something happens to your mind, okay? And you don't have to understand everything. If you understand it, you don't need to come to that class. Uh, you need to go to a class where they are talking about something you don't understand. And then your mind just grows and explodes and you learn new things. And you can do anything, you know? We just tried to fundraise uh, for, uh, uh, you know, the future translation of these books. We raised $3 million. It's like that. If you know emptiness, if you know how reality works, you can have a beautiful marriage, you can have a beautiful home, uh, you can have beautiful friends, and you can have a beautiful life. Look at these guys. You can be like me, okay? And I, I'm not kidding. So, you know, we ask you, uh, we invite you to come. It'll be August 6th to August 19th, uh, Mixed Nuts Translation Party. The best translation party in the last thousand years. And it will blow your mind. It will expand your mind. You can learn new things and you can have an extremely successful life. So I really encourage you to come and we'll have fun together. And I think you'll be very glad that you came. Okay, thank you. See you then.